Hey guys, this is Coach Sean with Blackwell's Bullpen, and in today's video, I'm showing you a clip of an interview I did with Devin Morgan of Driveline Baseball, talking about uh, off-season workouts and what a good schedule would look like and what they try to implement over there at Driveline. And I think this is an awesome tool that we should all think about and think about a system that works for us where we can focus on training outside of playing games in a period of time that we can dedicate to just training and getting better. I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, if I, we're kind of just starting with like a completely clean slate, um, the, the example I'll give is kind of the way that we run our teams here in Washington, because Washington is not kind of a year round play area the way that Arizona is. So I think it's a little bit more representative of what we would prefer for our schedule. Um, so we have our teams generally finish playing in here around July. August and September, um, we really want to have that two month period of time stop throwing, right? That That's our period of time to give these kids some time off from throwing. We understand that the most significant and prevalent uh, youth baseball injuries are largely repetitive stress injuries. We got to take some amount of the calendar year to kind of shut down on the throwing side. So August to September for our returning players in, in ideally for our new players as well as our no throw period. But that is a period of time where you can focus specifically on hitting and strength development. So when we get to October, that's what we call our onboard. And we're generally going to spend somewhere around four to five weeks kind of uh, slowly ramping back up to competitive and levels of intent. Um, in that period of time when we're onboarding, that's not the time that you want to see kids have like big PRs and throwing velocity, right? That's not the intention of that time. We're trying to be really uh, calculated and deliberate about progressively kind of uh, upping the volume of throwing that we're doing and the intensity of throwing that we're doing to the point that by, you know, early-ish November, we're really to go into a velocity development phase. Um, that velocity development phase is going to take about uh, you know, six weeks is kind of the general program. Um, and over the course of think about the four weeks of onboarding plus the six weeks of velocity development, that's 10 weeks right there. Uh, during that period of time, we can certainly focus on bat speed development. So you can kind of do both of those things mostly at the same time. Um, you don't really want to mix like different <sighs> different modalities of high intent training. So like on a day that we might be doing some really high intent throwing, we probably don't want to make that a bat speed day, right? But that can be a, a bat to ball skill day or a swing decision day. Um, so if you've got four weeks of onboard and six weeks of development, let's say you take another two to four weeks of what we would call like a blend to season, right? Um, we've got some new toys, we're moving the bat faster, uh, we're hitting the ball harder, we're throwing the ball harder. Now we want to spend some amount of time like making sure that we're optimizing for developing those new tools in a competitive environment. Um, so like in a in a bat speed day, I really want kids. It's like a it's like the swing should look like what you see if it's like a 3-0 middle middle, right? This is get your this is a get your A swing off day, right? In that phase of things. The closer we get to season, the more that we want to lean into things like swing decisions, right? Um, so you might be seeing like mixed pitch BP, you might see mixed pitch off of one of our eye pitch pitching machines where we can quickly go between curveball, fastball, slider, right? Um, the closer you get to competitive, kind of the competitive reality of the game, the more you want to lean into that type of training, right? Nobody wants to see you get on the mound and like zoo balls over the backstop, you know, that, that just, uh, that, that ain't it. So we got to take some amount of time to do that too. So four week on board, six week development, another four week of kind of blend the season. Um, you know, that's that's 14 weeks ish is, is kind of a, a preference. So two and a half months, right? Let's say two and a half to three months is you can get a lot done developmentally in that amount of time.